Hi, welcome to Rockford Recipes Online. This is Audrey. Today's recipe is a delicious apple pie. So let's do the crust first of all. Um, I soaked some uh, walnuts and pecans. Uh, there's about 300 grams of them here. Um, about 100 grams of pecans and 200 grams of walnuts. Um, I'm gonna put this in the food processor. I'm gonna put like half a cup of soaked dates. Everything has been soaked overnight. And then cinnamon. I always like to put cinnamon in the crust, especially when there's apples involved. <laughs> um, and then today I fancy adding a little bit of salt as well to the crust. And then we're gonna blend. the base. Next step I'm going to take a mold. You have to apply the base on the mold the, and then you press firmly with your hand so it's a nice and compact uh, crust and it holds together. You can use the palm of your hand or your fist. I like to use the palm because it's bigger it, it, it's quicker as well and you should have something like that we are going to do like a cr kind of cr I soaked some um, shredded coconut um, so it's a little bit more tender so I'm gonna put this in my blend tech I put about a good handful of uh, coconut like this I don't know approximately uh, how, it, how the exact amount, just take a good handful and then soak it. And then half a cup of, uh, <laughs> of um, what's that, Brazil nuts. Okay, soaked as well overnight. Let's put that in. Then take some organic vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna put a good teaspoon of it. Then you're gonna add some raw honey, some water. No water. Okay, I didn't. So in that mixture, I'm adding as well a banana to make it a little bit more creamy. Mm. Guys, it smells really, really good. So, in the end, I put about a cup of water in there. I added the banana. And it's perfect. So I'm gonna put, pour in this mold over the crust. I'm gonna pour maybe a good half of the mixture. And then with my spatula, I'm gonna even it on the crust. So you have something like that. And now let's put some apples just adding a little bit of cinnamon because Matt loves it and then you're gonna pour the rest of the cream And then the last touch is a bit more cinnamon. And this, I put it in the dehydrator. So you can put it as long as you want. Um, 
you can just put it for half an hour an hour to warm it a little bit or you can put it overnight and you'll see um, the cream is going to condense because the with the heat it's going to make the moisture go out so it's going to be like a bit more settled with the apples and the cinnamon and everything with um, give another taste so I generally put the cake and we have it an hour after and then the day after and then the day after and um, it's different every time because uh, in the dehydrator it gets dehydrated <coughs> more and more so I hope you'll enjoy it and that you're gonna do it and try it and give me some feedback on this and um, go and check our website www.rockwoodrecipesonline.com and get our free recipe ebook as well